Yo guys, let's take a look at how to run Kaylee Linux 2 on your Android device. Now to do this, we're going to be using an app called PC Limbo Emulator, which is going to allow us to run Kaylee Linux 2 without using root. Now keep in mind, this app does use the lib SDL library, so your emulation speed is not going to be very fast. So with all that said, let's start with downloading the ISO file. So go to the Kaylee Linux website and download the 32-bit light ISO. The light ISO is the only one that was able to get to work. All the other versions would not load on the emulator, so definitely go with the 32-bit light version. Afterwards, download and install the Limbo PC emulator app. So when you start the app, you can first start by creating your virtual machine and name it wherever you want. And then you can select the amount of cores and the amount of RAM that you want. Honestly, I don't really think this makes a difference in the emulation speed, but what the heck, give it a try anyway. Afterwards, go to CD-ROM and select the ISO that you downloaded. Now, if you do plan to install this, you can create a virtual disk image. I'm not going to do that because I don't really plan to install this, but there's that option for you. And finally, go to the boot and select the CD-ROM to boot from. And when you're all set, just go and hit the start to start the VM. So once you start it, Kaylee Linux will be up and running. Now, like I mentioned, the emulation speed is not fast at all, so it's going to take a while just to get going. You're also going to make sure they connect a USB on the go keyboard and mouse, just because it'll make it a lot easier to use. So I'm going to enter live mode and wait maybe about 10 or 15 minutes until the whole OS actually loads. So once it loads, you get into the log on screen, and from this point, you can use your username root and the password T-O-O-R. So I'm going to be honest, once I logged in and waited another 5 or 7 minutes, I did encounter a bug within the GUI which caused it to crash, and I really didn't feel like diagnosing it and figuring out why that bug happened. If you run into the same bug, then definitely look into it, but you know, I would just do this as proof of concept, and it takes a while to boot up, so I wasn't going to sit through another 20 minute boot. But definitely give this a try, and it's just something fun to try out. So guys, if you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button, and as always, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks. <laughs>